Hi friends! So this month's artist study is not just one artist, it's going to be several artists, the artists that are in the New York City subway system. I did post a few videos on YouTube, very short, that you can look at that shows some of the art in the subway. I'm going to show you a little bit more now. Now here is the um, a big hot dog, isn't that exciting? This is glass that's been colored and put into different grids and this is in Coney Island. So it's the ramp going down out of the subway and there's a lot of different pictures and this is just one of them. There is also all of the new 2nd Avenue subway draw mosaics and they are um, little very realistic but if you get really close you see that it's lots of little pieces of tile like this one and you can see this boy here is trying to pretend that he's holding the umbrella I mean the balloon and also some of them are great big faces like this see this woman looks like a photograph right but if you get really close you see that's tiny little pixelated pieces kind of like bits of, of um, it's a pixelated photo and each of those have become tile work so there is the different tile work like this entrance here and then really taking it into the modern spin by doing the computer generated process and here is artist Wegman and his famous dogs and he also has done some of the work in the subway in um, I believe it's the 23rd Street and here is another traditional mosaic up in Harlem and you see closely those are all little bits and they've done some beautiful work in the faces and a lot of just basic work here with the tile and this shows the Apollo there and that's this is also very similar to that this is up by the opera and all of this if you're right next to it, it's like very bright gold it's beautiful and it's not all just tile work what I was just saying about the 14th Street sculptures this is one of the sculptures and you can look at the rest of them on that video and here is another one they're all over the 14th Street station at the ACE line and they're really fun to look at it's a whole series throughout here's another one of those pixelated ones too see up close very pixelated back here just looks like a picture right and here's another traditional tile work this is down in the lower east side see that giant fish so look friends there's so much and um just so many different things to look at and different types to see it's just a lot and beautiful and how great is it that when we're traveling underground we have so many different things to see so this month we're going to think about all of those things that we've seen and we're going to use our baggies of our scrap paper like I talked about in the technique video and we're going to pull out some of those colors that we like and we're going to think about something that we would have in the subway. So maybe first start and think about your favorite subway station or maybe your favorite subway stop. Would you want your subway drawing to be on the platform would you like it to be out in the upstairs like in 42nd Street somewhere big or somewhere small now I decided to get a black piece of paper out but you could use white paper too but I really want my mosaic to stand out so the first thing you're gonna do is get a piece of paper and you want to draw like we talked about last month we want to draw your plan and draw what you want to do now I think I'm gonna do something like a sunset so I'm going to draw my horizon line, I'm going to draw my sun, and then maybe the water here. So something basic, the sun, the horizon line, where the sun is setting, and the water. Now you could start with something simple or you could go more elaborate with your drawing. But remember, this is all going to get covered up with your tile work, your scrap paper. We're going to pretend it's tile. Tile is like ceramic or heavy pieces of stuff of clay that's fired 
and made hot and then it gets hard like rock and then you can use it in your bathroom like your tile on your floor or on the ceiling or there's tiles sometimes on your on your uh, wall in your kitchen and also in the subway it's easy to clean it's it's very used, used in building materials a lot so as you can see miss kate has taken already some of her papers and i have started some collage on a tray you could use a plate platter anything like that you have at home or at school and i've sorted out the colors of what i think i want so after i sorted out my colors then i start getting to work but before that i want to show you back on our tray now i've obviously ripped different pieces i want my collage to be kind of messy I don't want everything to look exactly the same size, but if you wanna do that, you might wanna get out some scissors and make little squares, or you could use a hole punch to make a bunch of circles if you want it all to be the same size. But I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a loose representation. So the next thing we need is a glue stick. And remember friends, the best thing to do is to glue on your drawing, not on the paste pieces of, of your, your collage pieces, because guess what? Then your fingers get all sticky, right? And also remember this too, when we use our glue stick, and if you decide, or if you decide to use some glue in a bowl and like paint it on, there's many different ways you can lose glue. You could even squirt it on, but let's do the glue first. But what happens sometimes if we use too much glue it dries so you're only going to do a little bit glue a little do some of your collage and then do a little more glue so it's going to be a pattern of steps so let me start this i'm going to glue the sun i'm going to do the main part of the sun first really get that glue in there now i'm going to take my yellow pieces because the sun is yellow right and I'm gonna go ahead and put those pieces in my area that I drew the sun. And I think I'm gonna use a little bit of orange too, cause you know, every, not everything is the same color, right? We all have different colors in everything, right? It's not just green. There's lots of different shades, right? Different lights and darks. So after I do that, <clears throat> I'm going to do the thing we always do. I'm going to take it away from me and look back. Now I can see I've missed a spot here or there, but otherwise I like what I've done so far. Okay, now that was two steps, right? So now we go back to our glue for step one again, and I'll do a couple of the rays of suns, you know, the things that stick out, right? And I think on those I'm going to do a little more orange. So I'm gonna stick it out and I'm gonna put it on but I'm also gonna add some of the others and you see I've made one ray there right okay and then I'll do one more because this video is getting a little too long <laughs> and I can keep going right so now down here, I said it was gonna be on the water. So I'm gonna use a little mixture of blue and green. Again, not everything is the same color. So I'm gonna go back to my glue, but this time I'm really gonna put it on a lot because I'm doing a lot. I'm not just doing one little area, I'm doing a big area, right? And in the same time, I'm gonna use bigger pieces. Now remember friends, you don't have to just use solid colors. That's why we have a baggie of printed things. So see, this has a little bit of print on it. This has a little bit of print on it. I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna mix it all together. I'm gonna even add a little brown on there, why not? Use your imaginations, friends. What, is, what does this stuff look like to you? Okay, so now i am started my water here. And I'm gonna look back like I do. I see, I like how it's looking. And then I'll go back to step one again and I'll put the glue. And you just keep doing that until you like it. And then when you sort of get down to the finishing edges, maybe you could use some specialty things like some sequins or some other glittery stuff and add some like shine to it. Make some of the stuff pop out. But if you do that, you might have to put more glue on because 
the, where the areas you had it on before, it might already be dry, right? So you see here, I've added a little shine there to my areas, okay? So let's think about those subway artists and think about what you wanna do and where you want your subway art to be and get going on it. It'll be fun and I can't wait to see them in school or on Seesaw. Take care.